The Russian Defense Ministry has released video that it says shows forces repelling Ukrainian troops in the southeastern Zaporizhia region. Earlier, Defense Minister Sergei Shargo said Kyiv suffered heavy losses in a failed assault. Russia controls 80% of the Zaporizhia region. Kyiv's not commented, and it's downplaying reports that its expected counteroffensive is underway. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky has been praising his troops for what he called results further east in the Donetsk region. We are in constant communication with our military. The commanders of the Khortitsa and Tavria group of forces, with all those involved in the most heated combat areas, Donetsk region faces very tough battles. But there is a result, and I am grateful to everyone who ensures this result. Jonah Hulls joining us now live from Kyiv. So what more do we know about what's been going on, Jonah? Well, that statement from Volodymyr Zelensky on Thursday night, uh, one of his nightly statements, of course, tells us quite a lot, and it tells us very little at the same time. He's talking about uh, renewed hostilities in the east, around the town of Bakhmut, that city in the east that, remember, Russia claimed control of just last month, scene of some of the longest-running battles of the war, a place of almost no strategic value whatsoever, but huge symbolic value uh, to both sides. He said, there are results. I am grateful to those who achieved them. Well done in Bakhmut, step by step. And he also talks about, in brief, very brief terms, military activity elsewhere, but specifically says, I will give no further details. Well, that is very much in keeping with the official line uh, around questions to do with Ukraine's summer counteroffensive. Is it happening? Is it still in its preparatory phases? Ukraine says it simply will not give a running commentary. We did get a little more detail a few days ago from the Deputy Defence Minister in her briefing about Bakhmut, which she described as, quote, the epicentre of hostilities. She talked about incremental advances being made on four villages in the nearby vicinity of Bakhmut, suggesting to analysts the possibility that Ukraine was trying to mount an encirclement of Bakhmut to trap uh, the Russian forces who have occupied uh, the city inside it. And remember, Bakhmut is not the only focus of renewed military activity along a very long front line in the east and the south. Uh, word on Thursday, largely from the Russian side, you mentioned it there, about four advances in the Zaporizhia region in the south that Russia said it had repelled. Russian bloggers suggest those advances were ongoing even uh, overnight. And again, leading analysts to suggest the possibility that this was Ukraine trying to punch through uh, and cut off Ukraine, Russian supply lines in the south. Part of the counteroffensive, part of preparatory operations ahead of it. We simply don't know. Ukraine is not saying. Jonah, thank you very much indeed. Jonah Hull talking to us from Kyiv. We're going to go to journalist Yulia Shapovalova, who's in Moscow. So as uh, Jonah was telling us there, a lot of reports talking about activity in the front lines, particularly around the Zaporizhia region. What's the news from the Russian side? Yeah, exactly. So we hear that uh, military actions have intensified in many directions and fronts. Now, uh, there is a lot of activity in the Zaporozhye and Bakhmut directions. Uh, Russian military bloggers call the Ukrainian attacks a failure. According to them, uh, Ukrainian forces unsuccessfully tried to attack the Russian military forces in the Zaporozhye direction. Uh, according to them, uh, since midnight, the armed forces of Ukraine have tried several times to attack the positions of uh, Russian fighters with artillery and uh, Russian aircraft were also used there. Uh, but according to the bloggers, the Ukrainians failed to break through the Russian defenses and uh, the, front, the front hasn't changed. Uh, we were also hearing from, uh, from Bakhmut. The Ukrainians are trying to advance on the northern and southern flanks of Bakhmut. The Russian military managed to knock out several armored vehicles, as they say, including infantry fighting vehicles, armoured personnel carriers and tanks. And uh, speaking about the Russian border region of Belgorod, so basically uh, it's not quiet there either. And we see reports that Russian artillerymen uh, dealt a powerful blow to the positions of the armed forces of Ukraine on the border of Ukraine and the Belgorod region, destroying a Ukrainian stronghold there. But uh, if we want to have a clearer picture we just have to wait for official information and uh, results uh, from 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 uh, 
from uh, Russian officials and analysts. That's Yulia Shapovalova talking to us in, from Moscow. Yulia, thank you very much indeed.